i. In this video, we're going to express this function in the form f o g o f. So let's go ahead and work through this. So the way that function composition works, f o g o h, let me just show you what this means. O h. So this is a function and it takes x and the way to compute x is as follows. It's f of g of h of x. So the way it works is right to left. So h is your innermost function. So let me just say innermost. I think that's one word. Sure, maybe it's two. And this is your inner. You can think of that, think of it that way. And this is your outer. Just making up some names here. Um, but the innermost is H, and then the next inner one is G, and then the outer one is H. So if you look here at this function big G, let's think about what the innermost uh, function is. It looks like it could be the uh, cube root of X. So I'm gonna let H be the cube root of X. And the next one, it seems that it adds four to it. So your little g would be four plus x. And then the outer one would just be x to the ninth. So f of x equals x to the ninth. Let's see if we can reason this another way. So your function here, or our function takes x, and what does it do? The first thing it does is it takes the cube root. That's the first thing it does to x. So that is your innermost function because remember the process takes place from right to left. Then it adds four, that's what we have here, and then it raises it to the ninth power. That's what this function does. So each of these functions do the things that we just described in words. Again, g takes x, it takes the cube root, that's exactly what h does to x. Then it adds four. That's what g does to x, it adds four. And then it raises it to the ninth power, and that's what little f does to x, it raises it to the ninth power. So our function, big G of x, is going to be equal to f o g o h of x, where these are the functions. And you know, we, we can go ahead and check. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's just make sure it works. So this is f of g of h. Let's just go ahead and do that for fun. So this is f of g. So h is the innermost function, so it'll be the cube root of x. So this is f of, so this is g of the cube root of x. So you go to g and you just replace the x with the cube root of x. So it's four plus cube root x. Are you just replacing um, the x with the cube root of x? Now we look at f, f is x to the ninth. So it's just oh, this whole piece here, this is our x, this giant piece here, and it's to the ninth. And that's exactly what big G is, so everything looks okay. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.